welcome to another Multiplication Strategies Tips and Tricks episode. I'm Shelley Gray, and today we will be talking about the two times tables. Now, um, the two times tables are one of the first times tables that you're going to teach, simply because they're the, one of the easiest ones. Um, pretty much after the zeros and the ones, the twos are the next easiest, so we always want to teach the easy um, the easy ones first. So first things first, your students must know the addition doubles facts before they start doing the two times tables. Now the addition doubles includes facts such as 5 plus 5, 2 plus 2, 10 plus 10, 7 plus 7, 3 plus 3, 9 plus 9, etc. They should know their doubles all the way up to 12. Now if your students are not yet comfortable with the doubles facts, please take the time to reinforce this. You can very easily reinforce the doubles facts in one to two minutes per day, so it doesn't take a whole lot of time out of your schedule, and I promise it will be worth it. They need this foundation before they start their two times tables. Now, how is multiplication by two related to the addition doubles? Well, let's take a quick look. So, um, for instance, with the equation two times six, this is essentially saying two groups of six. So we can illustrate that like this. Now in order to find the product of two times six, we can really just take those two groups and add them together to make 12. So as you can see, that equals um, an addition doubles equation, the double of six. Let's take a look at this again. So if we have the equation two times nine, this is like saying two groups of nine. So we can make it visual by representing two groups of nine. And really all we're going to do is add those two groups together to make 18, which is the product of two times nine. So essentially we are doubling the nine in order to find the product of two times nine. Now you always want to reinforce with your students that the order of the factors doesn't matter. This is really, really important um, because it means that they'll only have to learn about half the, the number of facts as you progress through the times table. So four times two, we need to show them that it's the same as two times four. You're, whenever you see a two, so you always want to point out the things that you're looking for. So whenever you see a two, that's a big sign that you can use the addition doubles. So either of these equations, you can think two groups of four or the double of four. So let's just practice. So three times two, here we have the two is the second factor, it doesn't matter, we still think in our heads the double of three, and that will give us six. Now here again, we see the two, ding, 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 that's a big sign that we want to teach our students to look for. So we're going to double the other number, which is the 10, and in this case, that equals 20. One more, we see the two, this is a big sign that we're looking for, so now we automatically know that we have to double the other number, and the double of seven is 14. So that was just a really quick rundown of the two times tables. You'll find that your students catch on to them fairly quickly. Just make sure you're always relating them back to the doubles facts. And you can find more mental math teaching tips at ShellyGrayTeaching.com.